My name is Kathleen Dunn. I'm an assistant professor at the College of Nanoscale Science and Engineering. This is a Joel 2010F field emission transmission electron microscope. It's capable of looking at the atomic arrangement inside of a material. It's one of the only tools here on site that can do that. It's actually only one of, one of the only tools in the world that can do that. Because the material properties depend not only on the size of things, but how the atoms are arranged within the material. You get very different, say, electrical properties for any of the transistors on the chips that we're building. It applies when your computer fails, when your chip fails, or uh, it's because the, the atoms aren't where they're supposed to be. They moved or they let electricity through where they weren't supposed to. So we need to know where that failure happened. That's a, a major use of this tool. At the lower magnifications, you're just sort of looking at gross features. By the time you get up to a million times magnification, then you're actually looking at atoms. So students might be using this to look at atomic arrangements, so looking for defects in that stacking of the atoms. They might be looking for atoms that aren't supposed to be there, some of some different element, some other type. They might be looking at the atomic arrangement in a novel nanomaterial like carbon nanotubes. So that it actually sees a lot of use for a wide variety of, of programs here, not just the industrial support, because it is one of those only tools that can look at atomic arrangements. When we get down to the nanoscale, that's, that's very important for all of our programs. So probably 75% uh, of the programs that go on here come through this tool.